the warped face in the mirror, the panic-inducing music that echoes through Rogetsu Hall. Just what kind of treatments were being carried out here? Why did the former patient still haunt the corridors? With doubts and questions racing through her mind, Ruka reaches a familiar room. This was her room all those years ago. Phase 6 Moon Song, Ruka Minatsuki. This was my room. Sure was. Can't get in. Something has appeared in the photo. Find the five maidens. Ugh. I guess it's nice that anytime the game gives me a new objective, it also pulls my camera in the direction of where I am supposed to go. It's a little victories, right? Ah, my camera just like got really confused. I wasn't control. I literally did not touch the right stick that entire time. <laughs> what is going on? Just doesn't like that corner right there. Look at the like weird ambient occlusion contact shadow on that light. Wow. It's just a flat little texture. No, I mean, it has it has depth. That's like a little model that someone just didn't Z correctly. And so it doesn't align with the wall. Look at it right there on the left side of the screen, just floating out there. <laughs> uh huh. OK, so. I had to find a picture that was in the room right next to the room I was in. Why did you do that? Why did you lock the door? <laughs> this was this was pointless. <laughs> this was absolutely pointless backtracking. If you want to put me into a fight, just get me into this room in an organic way. <laughs> Ugh, game, what are you doing? <laughs> the picture portrays five female figures in oversized kimono. They each appear to be clasping something in their hands. A large picture of a woman in a red kimono. Her face has been blackened out with paint, masking her expression. It is. It's woman in kimono. Apollo's favorite character. I would love to know what the Hozuki dolls do. It would be thrilling to know what this all amounts to. Yep, and it's going to be a fight. <laughs> Indeed. Is this the guy with Moon Knight Syndrome? Yeah, it's the painting man who doesn't like to be disturbed when he's painting. We just made a big oopsie. Silly us. Oh, motherfucker. There we go. Man painting on floor. Got close to missing that one. The things we do for points, y'all. Yuko Magaki's painting notes. The visions take control of the brush in my hand. Black, silent, I am not there. There is no one, there is nothing. My memory is painted black. Then that black is further blotted out. Even darker, nothing left but black. The visions will only emerge from that canvas of absolute blackness. I burn my memory and in return I receive the visions. They are brilliant and ever-changing, like a kaleidoscope. Fixing these moments into place pierces my darkness with blinding light. Come, 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 come. Those are commands for those watching. Oh, Metal Chaos is here. Hey Metal, what's up? How you doing? 
Countless heads have been suspended by rope behind a headless torso. Great for us. Loving that. It's a sick painting. A strange picture sits on an easel. It seems to depict a female mannequin. Is there anything to pick up right here? There does seem to be something directly in front of me. Why will it not reveal itself? Ah, uh, here we go. Just spirit stones. Not really worth it. An unsettling picture has been painted on the floor. A woman in red, her face distorted, stands surrounded by many people. Do I have to take a picture of it? That would be a no. Just... Time to fight Magaki, right? No? No fighting? Okay. Go pick up items, because that's what we do in this game. Get ready to be scared. So spooky. We've only seen that 27 times so far. This was my room. Patient interview, Luka Yomotsuki. Honestly, opening the doors taking a long time does not bother me nearly as much as uh, needing to do this stupid crabby hands mechanic. How did I not get that picture? Are you kidding me? Uh, it doesn't bother me nearly as much as the grabby hands mechanic. Like I, I do not think the grabby hands mechanic is good. <laughs> So one of the things I want to note there is that um, the subtitle said I become someone else, but in Japanese she says someone else enters me. So she's being possessed by someone when she puts on the mask. Just a slight translation difference. <laughs> Also, I want to be clear, when I talk about translation differences, it's not, um, it's not me saying the translation is bad. That was a totally correct way to translate that. It's just if a translator's note for some subtlety, there was a, there was a choice made <laughs> to be more subtle about it. What happened to me here? I can't remember. I've been in the hospital a while now. I made friends with girls my age, and the nurses are very nice to me, but I still feel sad sometimes. Why does Daddy make me wear the masks? He wears them, but why do I have to? When the doctor plays the music for me, I start to remember scary things. 
I want to get better and remember them for mommy, but they're too scary. My house, the masks, my daddy, I see daddy's back. He turns around and... That's cool, just like re-ingest your trauma, it's all good. <laughs> get wrecked. It must have been a cherished possession, the ivory has retained its luster. Doesn't that mean it's not really cherished because no one's playing it? <laughs> that music just now. The music box still works. There's a cog missing. How is it just playing? Something has appeared in the photo. It's the missing cog. I recognize this room. Find the cradle from the photo. Uh, unfortunately, I don't recognize that room, Uruka. Where the hell is that? The cradle? What did- where, where was it? Alright, this doesn't tell me- doesn't show me the actual... There we go. Where is this? Oh, oh god. Uh fuck. Okay, it's no, it's not here, is it? I don't think so. Yeah, it's not. Is that a bathtub? It is a bathtub. Um hmm. Maybe it's in Misaki's room? I don't remember. The game hates that one hallway. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, I don't remember whose room this is. Yeah, this is Misaki's room. I'm gonna have to fight the two ghosts. Yep. <laughs> oh, I knew it. says this combat looks inoperable uh it's honestly not it's not like it's hard it's it's just kind of tedious <laughs> like, and it's it's inconsistent that's kind of the thing that confuses me is because I'll, I'll get a shot when the the fatal frame alarm is going off and it won't give me a fatal frame Intolerable. Yeah. I mean, that's one one way to refer to it. I should just turn the camera sensitivity way up because I have the lock on feature and I can just lock on once I find them, and it will just make me turn faster. Ah! Fight me. Here we go. Not bad.
So this radio was broken when Misaki was here, so does that mean Ruka's here before Misaki, even though she, she thinks she came after? Oh no, it's broken still. Okay. Pen says, basic plot of the mystery book I found. Man kills woman with knife. Man gets woman's blood in his mouth while washing the knife. Man receives memories of woman's life. That sounds dope. That sounds interesting. Curious what that's about. Alright, uh, let's see. Wanna go in here? Nope, not in here. We want to go in here, right? Or is this Madoka's room? <laughs> I can't remember. No, this is the one we want to go to. Once again, back and forth in a tiny room with nothing particularly important in it. It's not working. The cog is in the wrong place. Aha. Uh -huh. We get to do a little puzzle. Does it just automatically? I see, we just need to get, we need to get it so that all of the cogs move. Okay. go I know this melody I might remember more if I play it on the piano oh we have to do the piano ocarina of time ocarina again according to the score it should sound like this <laughs> All right, we'll do this again. Uh, ben says, what's my opinion on Resident Evil? Uh, I love Resident Evil. Until you get to the sixth game and Code Veronica and Zero. That's when the series starts to get really bad. But I really like Resident Evil 1, specifically Remake, which I think is like a perfect game. RE2 is really good. The RE2 remake is incredible. RE3 is alright. RE3 remake is incredible. RE4 is amazing. RE4 remake is incredible. Uh, hate Code Veronica, hate 5, hate 6, love 7, hate 8. Uh, and all the spin-off games are bad. That's my take on Resident Evil. What? It's weird that it will show me. Oh, I see. I'm missing one for some reason. Okay, gotcha. There we go. I think the storytelling in this game is decent. It's just 
the gameplay is so bad comparative to the rest of the series. And the rest of the series' this gameplay isn't even that good. What is going on? Why? Why put me through this? All right, where is this? I feel like I know this place. Yeah, it's the room you were sitting in, but in a flashback. Right? This is like her childhood home. The dresser is decorated with beautiful peony carvings. Girls in kimono are kept inside. Just kidding. It just says girls' kimonos. Luca's Diary 2. Today I was playing in the garden, and I heard a knock-knock noise from the workplace. thought it was my daddy. I haven't seen daddy in a long time. Daddy's always making masks. I feel sad that he's not here to hug me or play with me. When I ask mommy when his work will be done, she never answers. What a bummer. Old textbooks and notebooks are arranged on an antique desk. I used to have a desk that looked just like that when I was a teenager. It's my computer desk. Got it for 25 bucks from an old couple that was moving. Doesn't count as a Hozuki doll. Okay, good to know. Spooky, what does it mean? Let's play Chase the Ghost. Sayaka. Is that her mom? Guess it must be, right? Sayaka's diary. I saw Ruka standing outside in the garden, bathing in the moonlight. I rushed out and held her in my arms, but she didn't even seem to notice me, just muttering to herself, her expression completely blank. As if this weren't enough, she started to show a fear of mirrors. I have to talk with Dr. Hybara before she buds. If I don't get to her scene as soon as possible, it might be too late to save her. There's something I wanted to give to Ruka, but I don't think she's fit to receive it yet. I'll wait until she gets better and can show me her beautiful smile again. Oh, well, it seems like the mom has some love for her daughter. It's kind of uncommon in these games. He made Luca try on masks in front of the altar. Ugh. Different kinds of masks. He made her do it. Is this a reason Luca got sick? Did he do this to her? He's changed. He's been spending longer and longer at the workshop every day. And when he comes home, he has such an indescribably heavy aura around him. I feel like the shadows in his eyes have darkened while the strange light behind them has grown brighter and more intense with each passing day. He sounds so impatient when he talks to me, like he hasn't got time to spare, but he won't even tell us what it is he's chasing after. But whatever it is, he's clearly willing to sacrifice everything for it, even us. What drives him? Just thinking about it makes my heart, a heart that wants so much to trust him, tremble in fear. Will my Soya come home to me? When his work is finished? No, he's not ever coming back. That's what I've come to think. He's no longer the Soya I once knew. The Soya I fell in love with and had a child with. The Soya I banged. <laughs> Just such a weird thing to write. Like, we get it. She's her father. Our child. I have to get Ruka away from him. Ka says, my computer desk as a teen was a door atop two filing cabinets. We had to keep applying additional layers of duct tapes to the rim since it kept giving me wrist splinters. Yikes. That's not good. Okay, I guess I can't check out the closet, huh? Spend enough time there in my life. Don't need to worry about that now. I love Ruka's little dainty little walk. She just cannot be fucked to put in any effort. She can't exert herself whatsoever. She is just, she is here to go her own speed. And you know what? Work it, girl. Good job. Live your truth. Healing mask is enshrined in the altar. Small mortuary tables sit on either side of it. 
Intriguing. What could it mean? Could it mean that there's a ghost outside? And by that, I mean a memory of my childhood self? Photo of man in masks. A photo of Ruka's father. How spooky. Now what? <laughs> oh my god. There's a girl there. Hi, Mom. Small key with blossom design. You know, you can just show me picking up the key like in a cutscene. Like, I didn't need to control for just 0.2 seconds there. This is what I mean. What was the the gaming value of making me turn around and take that picture on my own? It's just there because taking a picture with the Wiimote is a novelty. <laughs> Figure out how to use small key with the blossom design. Luca's Diary 3. Tomorrow is the festival. I get to put on a mask and watch the dance. I'm looking forward to going to see it with everyone, but I don't want to forget things like I do when I put on the other masks. The sickness I have makes things I remember go away. It makes people I can't meet anymore and people who died go away. Daddy is going away. When I try to remember him, I feel scared. But if I don't remember him, he'll go away. The daddy in my head is going to die. I'm scared. I'm scared to remember, but don't go. There's a mask here. It looks familiar. It's the re-dead mask. If only I could read Manyogana. Not that that texture is like actually high enough quality to read. The day of the festival. No, the day I was taken away. I can't breathe. When they took me, what did they do to me? Alistair says, you know, for all the memeing we're doing, the ideas being brought up in this game have tons of potential. Yeah, the issue with this game is not the concepts. It's it's the ludonarrative ties between what we're doing and what we're being shown and the decisions that lead us to each of those individual elements. Suda is an interesting writer, and while not all of his games are amazing, he is he is interesting. So, I definitely understand the appeal of, of his ambition. Now we gotta find the way to use that blossom key. Nurses notes: A heavy atmosphere has fallen on the infirmary. Staff members are dying, patients disappearing. A sudden glut of sadness. I think that ever since that day, the patient's behavior has grown even stranger. The nurses and patients alike are being crushed under this melancholy. I'm trying to distract myself from it by focusing on my work. I've been covering Nurse Tono's responsibilities since her death, watching the third floor until they find a proper replacement for her. No sooner had I taken over her work... Then I heard that a patient was leaving, one of the girls who had been kidnapped. And I heard that a patient was leaving, comma, <laughs> comma, one of the girls who had been kidnapped. I was tidying up her room when I found a diary belonging to her mother. They're both leaving the island, so I doubt anyone will be back to pick it up anytime soon. 
The island may have painful memories for them, but no matter what happens, it'll always be their home. They might come back one day. Keep it safe for them until I do. Oh. See, it's the spooky ghosts that don't scare me. It's just the it's like the nice looking lady that that just got me the two times. It was the loving mother and the nice nurse lady. Sayaka's diary. Small key with blossom design. Unlocked the diary. I'm sorry, Yuruka. I don't think I can take it anymore. When the detective told me about how he found you, everything I believed in was shattered in an instant. He said the underground cave where you were found was connected to the lift in Haibara Infirmary. I asked Dr. Haibara to admit you to the infirmary so that you could get better. I realize now that this was a mistake. And when I heard about the clothes you were wearing when he found you, and the state of the cave, I can't bear to think that he could be involved in all of this. If he had anything to do with it, there may no longer be any place where we can be safe, where we can be at peace. I asked Mr. Kirishima to bring me to the place where you were found, down the connecting passage from Drogetsu Hall, then down underneath the infirmary. The lift didn't even have a button for it yet, but even further beneath the first underground floor, that was the place. The expansion work was abandoned when it hit the old primeval passage, directly underneath the moon glow well. The only light in this dark place was the thin moonlight from the well. My skin crawled. I couldn't stop trembling. I stood there and I cried. So is the moon glow well the well outside that um, Choshiro was near in the beginning that we heard the wailing coming from? What happened to you? What could have possibly happened to destroy your mind like this? Mr. Katagiri said, while your memories are lost, you are lucky to be alive. He said the most important thing is to help you retain the shaky grip you have on what's left of your mind. He also said this to me, if you are allowed to rest and convalesce slowly, you'll be able to return to having a normal life one day. See, he didn't say that to you, because if he said that to you, he would be talking to Sayaka. So what he actually said is, if Ruka is allowed to rest and convalesce slowly, you will be able to return to having a normal life one day. So really, those yours should either be in, like, the brackets, or that shouldn't be a quote. Mom. Okay, mom. Get grammar right. But you mustn't try to remember the things that happened before you lost your memory. If you try too hard to do that, your mind may well snap again. You might even blossom. I know it's hard for you to have these lo or lost these irreplaceable memories, but I have to make sure you don't try to remember them. I have to face the future. I have to hold your hand firmly in mine and move on. Starting now, I only want to make good memories. It's really nice that the mom is, like, you know, really out there for her kid. So many of these stories just don't got that. How sweet. Come on, camera. Is there any... What is here that I need to reveal with the camera in order to get a cool item? Come on, game. There we go. Twenty blue spirit stones. We'll take it. Ah, uh, what do we want? Max power, spirit. Ah, uh, do we want spirit power? We'll just save up for sensitivity. Why not? So do we just go back underground? Ben says, why are the majority of Japanese people self-conscious? Uh, I can't really uh, speak on the nature of all Japanese people, but I would assume it is a it is a factor of a very polite society. You know, stuff like tatemai and stuff being uh, pushed on you your whole life kind of makes you also just gently aware that uh, there's a lot of 
inner thoughts being kept from you at all times can easily make a person paranoid. And always having to worry about appearances that can get to people. So I would assume it is a factor, uh, a common factor of uh, Japanese society is just a focus on politeness and if not image, uh, practicality. Here we go. Perhaps not practicality, but, uh, you know, may maybe it's some something to do with a sociological, you know, institutional culture. I can't say. That is not my field. My God's name. What is this hole doing here? Got the blow lens. Is that right? Is that right, Luca? You got the you got the blow lens? Alright, girl. Oh, it uses all yeah. <laughs> so th this is the uh, blast lens. <laughs> That's what it was in the original. <laughs> it's funny. All right, lenses below. No, no, I didn't want to upgrade that one. Oh, below I can't upgrade anyway. That's fine. We'll just keep those. What? Do I just gotta beat this guy? Oh. Okay. Come at me, bro. Okay. Stone mirrored me, dang. That sucks. Right. This is the worst possible location to fight a ghost right now. <laughs> this is just the worst room in the game for this specific purpose. I use some type 16 on him because I want him to die, because he's really lethal. Ben says, what's your opinion on the 2008 Alone in the Dark game? I have not played it. I hear it is god-awful. It also does not help that it just plain old did not work on the system that it was released on. Alone in the Dark is a series that I am familiar with but have never actually played. Alright. I'm 
wasting this really good. Eighteen damage? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to type fourteen. It's the worst possible. Where is his? Where is he? Where's his health bar? Callus says, I like the title, Alone in the Dark sounds a little poetic. Yeah, Alone in the Dark is also very important, the first one at least, um, because it is kind of the game that created the survival horror genre in terms, oh my god, instant kill, holy crap. I'm gonna lose my mind if I die to this stupid ghost. Oh my god. kidding me. Well, that's frustrating. All right, where do I need to go? What was the last thing we did? All right, search underneath the Hybara Infirmary. Okay, we'll just go downstairs then. Oh, I have to take the lift because I'm on the third floor. My bad. So I guess we didn't lose too much progress. But yeah, I've always wanted to stream all of, or if not stream, record Let's Plays of all of the Alone in the Dark games, especially the original trilogy, just because it is so important to the foundations of survival horror, but I uh, just haven't gotten around to it yet, because it is it has some unique issues with recording, uh, and playing it at you know on a modern PC is a little bit difficult, even using the uh, GOG version that's out there. I think I own it on GOG as well. It's just even getting that running in a recordable and in a way that doesn't just fundamentally make my computer want to die is a little bit difficult. All right. We have to figure out a strategy for this annoying hallway ghost. this up with the blow lens again all right let's uh enhance some stuff Sure, we'll upgrade all of those. And now, uh, for the camera itself, do we have anything we can upgrade? We got 26. Uh, let's just increase our spirit power.
I think with the Alone in the Dark uh, reboot, the 2008 game, part of it, part of my, the thing that I have heard about it consistently is that it is just very, uh, it, it just varies, it's unfinished, like it didn't have enough time in the oven, um, which makes sense, you know, and I, I don't think the presence of driving or being an FPS or being a brawler makes it necessarily guaranteed that it was going to be a bad horror game but i think what it is a good example of what happens when you don't have a very strong core idea that you are designing around you know and it's like everything that i have heard about this game is that it just it desperately wow how in the world did that happen um it's just basically a game where it it just doesn't know what it's doing and oh my god this fight is awful you've got to be kidding me I did four damage to him. Wow, someone cheered a thousand bits. Thanks. What just happened? How did he get me? I I don't understand what just happened. He was nowhere near me. Did he get me through the floor somehow? What in the world is going on? All right, we'll redo this little annoying section yet again. All right. Spend all of our money on healing items. Quickly save. Alrighty. Ben says, have you ever played Hunt? Uh, I have no idea what that is. Is that like Hunt Showdown? That was the game on Steam, wasn't it? Not really my, my jam. When it comes to multiplayer games, I basically only play fighting games. Alistair says, I'm gonna play Super Monkey Ball 2 in the background while this annoying ghost happens at you if that's okay. Uh, I don't care, I'm not your mom. Do what you want. Okay, let's see if we can if we can actually get through this really obnoxious boss fight. That would be really ideal. We're going to use our shotgun film on it because I want to kill this guy real quick. We might need to slow him first, but 
I went the wrong way. Uh, but that it just hasn't really ever been a useful upgrade, so I just don't really know. I don't really know what it wants from me. All right, we got the blow lens. Let's go grab the 30 blue stones or whatever. Okay, now we can upgrade our camera. Uh, has it not actually entered my inventory yet? Okay. Sensitivity. Um. Film loading time, sure. Spirit power up. Switch this with blow, switch this with pierce, switch this with slow. Now, camera obscura, enhancements, lenses, slow, and we'll upgrade pierce as well. Okay, um, hmm. Eleven herbal medicine, a mirror stone, two sacred waters. If this is not enough to kill this guy, I swear to God, <laughs> I will lose my mind. Do this. <laughs> Run. What is... Excuse me? Off to a bad start. Alright, he's beside me, which is obnoxious. Oh my god. If I can just get a hit off on him, I could probably do a lot of damage. There we go. 500 damage, that did nothing. And even, I'm using good ammo too. I just I just don't do any damage to him is the problem. Ugh. Get off of me, dude. Okay. Oh god, he's right beside me. my camera doing this? This is so irritating. It wouldn't let me turn to look down the stairs. I'm wasting all of my good ammo and it's not even doing anything. It feels like the Type 74, the Type 14 is just doing just as much. Wow, okay. 
guess he can just teleport to me. What is going on? my stone mirror. Can I just run away? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Can I fight him in here? Okay. Nope. He just... Okay, so he'll chase me in here. Or will he? Can't tell what's actually going on. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to actually lose my mind from this terrible fight. Uh, holy smokes. Did it at least save after I bought all the medicine? Because if I can at least back out into that square room, yes it did, okay. If I can back out into that square room, I might have a chance. Um, just because I'm not going to be in that awful hallway. But if I don't make it this time, it's going to be rough. Ben says, there's a certain charm to your streams. It's very enjoyable, if not exactly difficult, to describe. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> he also asks, is this the stream where we see Toast Rage? Uh, I don't think so. It takes a lot to make me actually get, like, truly salty at a video game. I'm definitely irritated, but I'm like, I'm more embarrassed <laughs> by the quality of the game than I am irritated that I am continually losing. Cause I got, I got all the time in the world right now to do this. And really all, all this is doing for this game is hurting its reputation. People are gonna see this stream or this VOD in five years and they're gonna try to decide if they wanna buy this game and they're gonna be like, ooh, what were they thinking? And that's kind of a moral victory. So, all right, I'm going to wait for that lady to disappear. We'll be like right here. Now we quick turn, go back up there and save at the lantern on the first floor. And now we don't need to do that ever again. We can save some time. Also, Ben says, uh, you seem like a very calm person. Thank you. I'm not. <laughs> I I just am. Let me get to the save point. <laughs> gotcha game. Um, I'm not actually a very calm person. I... Uh, I just have a very specific threshold that you have to meet where if something is frustrating to me, uh, it will make me very upset uh, once you meet that threshold. But until I get to that threshold, I just don't really, doesn't really get to me. There's more in the world to be mad about than bad video game design. Uh, earlier today, here's here's like a little piece of inside baseball that'll be interesting for the VOD, I guess. Um, I recorded The Last of Us Part 2 Grounded Hudless today, um, Part 30. So in Part 30, no spoilers, uh, really, it is a certain... Oh, fuck, I did not mean to walk into this room. I wanted to grab those spirit stones. Um, in Part 30 of this episode, we fight a very notorious boss. And it is one of the hardest encounters in the game, and I am playing on the hardest difficulty with no HUD. And it took me probably two and a half hours to get about 40 minutes of usable footage. And that was fine. Like, things just take as long as they take. You throw, you throw your head at it until it gets through, and then you, you move on with your day. So. I'm going to focus on leveling that up. And then, uh, sure, we'll level up spirit power as well. And then... 
We'll level up slow and throw 15 into Pierce because why not? We have nothing else to put it in. Now, camera obscura, change equipment, type 16 film, switch that with the blow lens, switch this with the slow lens, put Pierce on there just to do that. We'll go in here, we'll upset the ghost, we'll run back into this room, we'll fight him in this room. Hopefully that will make things easier for us. Right, we almost killed him in one hit. Away from me, bro. I'm not even going to try to lure him, lure him out right now because I want to make sure that he doesn't get his health back in like a phase change or something. There we go. God, fuck this boss. I still can't go through the door? Are you... What? <laughs> it... We are free... from the boss... but it... doesn't seem like we can go anywhere? I can't. <laughs> I have no idea what the game wants me to do. I did kill that boss, which is good. But I have no idea now. There is this hole in the floor, but I can't interact with it in any way, shape, or form. There does not seem to be anything else for me to interact with here. And this is the only way underneath the place, as far as I know. Unless we go outside and climb in the well? So, maybe we climb in the well. Ah, oh, yikes. I, uh, I feel like I just wasted so much time and so much resources and so much ammo. Let me make sure I switch off my shotgun ammo. Uh, my shotgun film before I waste more of it because that would be awful. Uh, as far as rage goes for me, uh, I just, I just don't, I don't know for even when I'm really mad at things, I just feel no desire to ever, ever really rage. It's just not in me. Someone could stab me and I probably wouldn't yell. Like I just don't, I don't feel the need to ever really raise my voice. I don't feel the need to ever really get super upset about stuff worst case scenario I tell people that they are irritating me and then I leave <laughs> that's that's kind of the extent of my my degree of anger towards anything now there's lots of stuff in the world that upsets me very greatly and lots of things that make me very very angry but I definitely am more of a seether 
than I am a like act out er, you know? I just kind of just boil with it and then feel better afterward and don't really need to worry about much. A lot of stuff just doesn't really get to me, but that doesn't really mean that I'm a calm person. It just means I don't really let stuff get to me. All right, uh, let's find the map. Where's the entrance hall that we want to go through? I wanted to check outside, but... Hmm. Ben asks, is there anything that's happened where you've actually just lost your shit? Not really, no. It's just not really something that happens with me. I just, I don't know, I get like frustrated about things and I'll like rant on Discord about stuff, but that's mostly just in like good venting fun. It's nothing that I would really classify as anything that really gets to me. All right, uh, yikes. How we lost so much time. What a waste. I have no idea where to go.